<laughs> Mortal Kombat movie. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. I can hit you on fire and stuff like this, and I'm barely gonna be in the movie. But we're gonna put some main character who you never cared about as the lead role of this movie because nobody cares about him. It's not like we have a luxury list of Mortal Kombat characters to pick from. No. Mortal Kombat review. Let's get it. <laughs> there's goods, there's bads, and there's why the heck was this an idea. Starting off with why the heck was this an idea, some of the, the casting, you're, it's okay to make like a brand new character in the Mortal Kombat universe. I don't know why you would do it, there's a variety of characters to pick from that you could use, but that's okay. But make him interesting, okay? I didn't really care one bit about Cole. He got, I guess he's like the descendant of Scorpion, and then he's got the, the mark and everything right here, showing he's the chosen one to fight Mortal Kombat. That's cool, but the whole time through the movie, I was like, who is this guy supposed to be playing? Who is he from Mortal Kombat? Who is this? Who is that? And I was like, oh, he must be an original. And his, like, power, superpower he gets was not that interesting. Kind of builds up like armor, and then kind of just gets like Bowie sticks attached to his forearms, kind of, and just beats people up. Other than that, he's a pretty basic guy. They just fights on the side for money. Like, I'm just curious how that press conference went. Was it like, all right, uh, who's gonna be the main character for Mortal Kombat? So we got Scorpion, we got Sub-Zero, Liu Kang, oh, like all these people. Nah, let's make a new guy, Cole. Okay, what's his power gonna be? That's uh, something lame and boring. Soul, that's it. Like, come on, come on, really? But some of the characters, some of the casting was good, some of the casting was bad, and I'll get into that. And I'm not the only person that thought this. I have friends that played the game, thought the casting was good, some of them thought the casting was bad. I watched it with three other people, and we all agreed some of the casting was bad. Like, in the games, the guys are big and bulky. I get it, I'm not playing the role, I don't have to worry about big and bulky. Enough. But people can do it, we've seen movies, we've seen fighting movies, James Bond's movies, we've seen Marvel movies, everyone gets big, bulky for their role, it's what they do to fill the role. I think it was Liu Kang was shredded like that's fine but he's a big guy in the game like he was like one percent body fat i was like holy hell he's more shredded than a bag of shredded cheese like what the heck and the part that sucks is it's like these characters kind of these characters you know and love and you want to see Liu kang like raiden Jax, all them they kind of take a back role to call to a guy who you don't really care about you don't really feel attached to him you don't really get much from him other than his journey to find his kind of superpower with his marking and everything. And that's fine, but Cole wasn't that interesting. Uh, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan and you're going in this movie, you want to see fights, you want to see blood, and you want to see your characters, like, duking it up. That's what it's about. Now, I get this as a setting up for a franchise, maybe two or three other movies. I think they signed on for three, maybe four movies, actually, some of the actors. Like, Raiden, and Cole, and Jax, and Kano, which I'll get to Kano a little bit. But... They gotta make it more interesting. I, when the fighting was happening, happening, it was good. When it wasn't, I was kind of bored. I got the process of the journey. I know you have to build it up. But like, you start off strong with the fight with Sub-Zero and then um, Scorpion. But after that, it's like, okay. Okay, this guy fights a lot, cool. Then he gets attacked and then it's kind of like, all right, let's pick it up, training, training. And then we get to the fights at the end. It's like, yes, this is what we came to see. Give me blood, give me fatalities, give me gore. Like all that is what we came here to watch. Someone who I do like tip my hat to or like ding my dong to them is Kano. Man, whenever he was on scene, I was captivated on Kano. I was like, what is he doing? What's he going to say? That sarcastic, cocky, asshole, Australian jerk, like bloody wanker, I'll fucking kill ya. Just... Awesome whenever he's on screen. So funny, so cool. Like, you can tell he's a mercenary, he's down to fight. He's also backed up his word and stuff. And he was just the best out of the movie, in my opinion, the best out of the movie, my favorite casting was Kano. Also, that Scorpions was a really good casting as well. His fight scene was great in the beginning. And him and the Sub Zero fight at the end was so cool. You can, like, I'm watching it, I'm like, Sub Zero, learn the combo, there's a combo. Because you pick up the combos from the games, which is nice, which is cool. Little nuances of like, Freezing, jacking the blood, stabbing, throwing him in the freeze wall, like, that's cool. Then you get Scorpion where he throws the dagger at you and you just get, get over here, and he just pulls it, pulls him over. That's just cool to see as a fan, as someone who played the games, who hasn't played them that much, but I do have a basic idea of Mortal Kombat. Because the whole idea of Mortal Kombat is fun and entertaining, and I love it, the whole, you're the chosen few, trying to stop outer world, trying to fight for your world, and a combat to these events, that's an awesome idea. And some of the casting was good, but just some of the casting didn't do it for me. And I know there's a lot of people out there as well. I want to know, like, what are your thoughts? Did, did you like the casting? Did you think it was a good movie? Do you agree? Wait till the end until you hear my final review of it. 
Did you agree with my review, or would you say it's better or worse? Like, let me know as well, because I'm really curious what everyone's thinking of this movie. Because this movie does well. If it does well, they're going to start a series, a franchise, and all this stuff going along with it. So that, that's big news for Mortal Kombat. So I want to know where everyone's standing. I love you. I feel like I'm really bashing on the movie, and I don't mean to be bashing on it. It was a good movie. It's just not what I expected. And I kind of I kind of wanted more. I kind of wanted more fights. That's what I came to see. Again, I know the later movies are probably going to be all fights and a lot more fights with stuff building up. Like, you, if you saw the end, oh, they're going to Vegas to pick up... I just forgot his name. I forgot his name. If I remember, I'll put it in when I edit it later. But they're going to pick up other people and other fighters for the world. So that's awesome. That's cool to see because we know it's expanding. But it's not all bad. The fights are good when they're happening. So the other characters that I mentioned, like Kano, uh, Scorpion, and all those, and there's a couple others, like Sub-Zero, that are actually pretty well casted, and I do like the way they cast. Some of them I just didn't like, and I couldn't get over it as, as a fan. Like, I just couldn't get over some of the casting. That's just, that's just my opinion on it. But overall, like, let's give a, let me give a review on this movie, because I don't want to be too harsh with it, but I also don't want to be too lenient, because if you want to watch it, then I want you to watch something good. Uh, all right, that's it. I got it. So this is gonna get my third highest rating, which is um, I'm gonna always go through my rating scale that way people know. Don't rush out to watch this in theaters. If you can, some you can stream, then stream it. Meaning, if you don't get to go to theaters to see it, you're not really missing much. It's not something you want to rush out opening day, rush out later on to watch it. But if you're not doing anything, you have $15 to yeah you know, just throw away to do whatever you want. Some friends you want to hang out, you got nothing to do. Go watch the movie. You're not going to regret it, but you're just not missing much is what I'm trying to say. If you can spend it at your house, guys going five bucks, get HBO Max, get a subscription for like a month and then cancel it. Watch at your house. Do that as well. Order some pizza. Not a great movie. Not a bad movie. You're not missing much is what I'm trying to say, but you're also not going to regret it if you go. That, that's my rating on it. I'll throw it up on screen as well. That way you can read it if you want to read it and stuff like that. But I want to know your thoughts. Like, did you like it? Did you enjoy the fights? Are you the same as me? Like, I want to know, am I just that oddball out that I just... I only like the fights and the blood and the gore, and I wanted more lore, but I didn't get it. Is that just me, or is other people out there thinking the same thing as well? Don't forget to do subscribe! Ding my dong, ring my bell, whatever you want to do, comment. Let me know. Let me hear the bay in the comments. Who do you want to see in the next more comment movie? They didn't show all the characters this time. They got a giant-ass roster to show. Who do you want to appear in the next more comment movie? I want to know down below. Till next time. Love you. Psst. Guys, I forgot one thing. If you're still here, comment you made it to the end. One thing I love, and I forgot to mention this in the video, I love all the fatalities. Anytime there's a fatality on screen, I'm like, I could, I was verbally said, fatality. Like, it's just, it's just something that comes out. You get to see, what is it, Luke Lu Kang's with the hat. That just mixed his name up. Whatever. You get to see, like, a couple fatalities. You can see Jack just clap the guy's dick off his head. Fatalities are good. Keep those in the next movie. All right, now I'm really gone. Bye. See you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and show me your peen.